In this video we are going to talk about the 10 largest real estate companies in the world. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The process of purchasing a home is stressful at best and a complete nightmare at worst. Nearly 30% of all property buyers and sellers enlist the help of real estate businesses to avoid the most unpleasant aspects of the process. The real estate sector encompasses much more than just residential home purchases. Real estate firms can own and invest in a variety of assets to generate a substantial profit. Whether a firm builds, buys, or sells its property also distinguishes real estate. Given that 6 million residential houses were sold in the United States alone in 2019, it's a market with a lot of opportunity for profit. The lucrative potential of the market has enticed several real estate firms to enter. The top 10 largest real estate companies in the world are listed here. Number 10. Boston Properties. Boston Properties is a commercial real estate firm that focuses in office buildings. The majority of their business is conducted in major American cities such as Boston, Los Angeles, and New York. In its existence, Boston Properties has been noted for a few significant events. The corporation began construction on the NASA headquarters 20 years after it was founded in 1970. As a result, they went on a buying spree, acquiring expensive commercial office properties in key cities around the country. Boston Buildings controls 196 commercial real estate properties worth almost $3 billion in revenue as of 2019. Number 9. Prologis. Every real estate firm has a sweet spot. Large industrial properties are what Prologis specializes in. They control an estimated 814 million square feet of industrial property in 19 countries, making them the world's largest industrial real estate corporation. In 1983, the company was founded as an AMB property organization, and in 1999, it was renamed Prologis. Their investment approach from the beginning was to focus on industrial and shopping centers rather than office buildings. Prologic devoted a lot of time in the 2000s spreading their sites, including Japan, Europe, and China. They were a Fortune 1000 company by 2007. Prologic's most recent development was its entire acquisition by Liberty Property Trust for $13 billion in 2020. Number 8. Well Tower. The majority of Well Tower's real estate transactions involved senior housing and healthcare facilities. When it was created in 1970, the company was dubbed Healthcare Fund since it was so closely linked to the medical industry. In 2015, they changed their name to Well Tower in order to expand their professional potential outside healthcare facilities. Well Tower's main objective in 2020 is to provide houses and properties for providing great medical care at a lesser cost. In North America and the United Kingdom, they currently own about 1,400 healthcare properties. Number 7. Relogy Holdings. The Hospitality Corporation Sendent separated into two divisions, resulting in Relogy Holdings. The portions of the business that were engaged in the fracture established independent companies. In 2005, they established Relogy Holdings as a result of their real estate endeavors. Relogy Holdings is the parent company of a number of well known real estate brands. Some of these are as follows. Century 21 Real Estate Coldwell Banker Real Estate in the Era Sotheby's International Realty is a real estate firm based in New York City. BHGRE, Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Realogy has grown to become one of the top publicly traded real estate and relocation companies in the world by controlling a number of key brands both domestically and internationally. Number 6. Simon Property Group Inc. Simon Property Group's business activities are classified as retail. The corporation is the largest operator of shopping malls in the United States, in addition to being a notable commercial real estate brokerage firm. If you've ever visited a shopping mall in the United States, chances are it's run by Simon Property Group Incorporated. Melvin and Herbert Simon created Simon Property Group, Inc. as a publicly traded firm only 28 years ago. Simon Property Group swiftly bought a series of malls and retail locations around the United States, which served as the company's basis. 
Simon Property Group Inc. now controls the majority of the commercial retail real estate industry. The corporation owns a majority of shopping center real estate in the United States, with a stake in 204 large retail complexes. Number 5. The American Tower Corporation. Unlike many other prominent real estate firms, American Tower Corporation specializes on the management and development of wireless communication infrastructure, such as cell phone towers. The American Tower Corporation was founded in 1995 as an extension of American Radio Systems and has since grown to become one of the world's largest real estate investment trusts. The company went public on the stock market as a separate corporation soon after it was built, after their parent company was sold to CBS. The American Tower Corporation has facilities in Mexico and Brazil after establishing its own company. They were exceptional in these areas. By 2007, the company had joined the S and AMP, AMP Wink with tongue sticking out 500 and was looking to grow beyond the Americas. American Tower had erected 50,000 communication points around the world five years after earning a position on the SP. As of 2020, the figure has more than tripled, becoming American Tower Corporation the world's largest real estate investment trust, REIT. Number 4. Cushman Wakefield Incorporated. Cushman Wakefield was founded in 1917 in New York City by two brothers-in-law. For 40 years, the tiny real estate company progressed slowly but steadily until 1969, when they became the project developer for Chicago's Sears Tower. From there, Cushman Wakefield Incorporated planned to expand into Europe by acquiring Healy Baker, one of their leading real estate players. As a result, they partnered with other worldwide real estate corporations in Asia, South America, and the Middle East. Cushman Wakefield's most recent achievement was taking their firm public on the New York Stock Exchange in 2018. For almost a century, their expansion into overseas markets has ensured their success. Number 3. CBRE. CBRE is the best commercial real estate broker for the job when it comes to purchasing and selling commercial real estate. They offer assistance to anyone who is buying, selling, or investing in commercial real estate. They also operate in almost every part of the globe, from the Americas to Asia. CBRE sold as traces can be traced back to the early 1900s, however the company underwent numerous name and ownership changes during that time. CBRE became public in the 1990s and expanded its real estate market share by acquiring many other brokerages, including Westmark Realty Advisors and Call Real Estate Services. CBRE Commercial Real Estate Services ranked number 128 on the Fortune 500 in 2020 due to its broad reach. Number 2. Brookfield Asset Management. Brookfield Asset Management has a long and illustrious history. It began as the San Paulo Tramway, Light, and Power Company in Brazil over 120 years ago, and its primary duty was infrastructure management. The corporation relocated to Canada in the 1960s and changed its name to Braskem Limited. In North America, the emphasis shifted to areas other than infrastructure, such as real estate, renewable energy, and private equity. In 2005, the company changed its name to Brookfield Asset Management as a result of this. They've grown into one of the world's largest real estate investors, with $208 billion in assets under control and 22,000 workers. Number 1. Keller Williams Realty. Keller Williams Realty began as a single agency selling local residential properties in Austin, Texas. From these humble origins sprang the world's largest real estate corporation. The firm was started in 1983 by Gary Keller and Joe Williams. The company had 72 agents working for them within the next two years, a number that only grew with time. When the 1990s arrived, the real estate corporation began franchising their business model and extending out beyond Texas state lines. This set them up for continued growth long into the 2000s, which they aided by starting out in luxury estates. Keller Williams Realty has worked hard in recent years to expand their real estate business internationally. In 2012, they struck a franchise agreement with South Africa, and in 2018, they opened stores in a number of South American countries. Their commitment to growth has resulted in them becoming the world's largest and most profitable real estate corporation. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below.
If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.